you know, I see my family members like there. It's like brings you back to when I was young growing up. And it's pretty amazing. Like they ruled Hollywood like in a major way. My family completely ruled the city. The studio would send her in. You know, it's kind of like a revolving door of just, you walk in one way and you walk out looking how you're gonna look in that particular movie. And not only just movie, but like, how you're gonna look in life. Because a lot of the movie, all the movie stars, all the women, they had a huge persona. They were really looked up to. And he created their look for, for everything, for, for their look forever. One thing that I've heard is the way we started selling makeup is through the pharmacies. At the time, makeup wasn't sold in department stores yet. And it was a little too risky for the department stores to sell makeup because makeup was looked at as taboo at that time for women. And women who wore makeup were considered all kinds of bad words that I'm not going to use here. But, um, you know, so either the high society women would buy their makeup, you know, or, or like how they could. And, you know, the rest of it was like in a little back alley. You would go in the alley and knock on the door and buy your makeup and come out and like get to be really quiet and secret about it because makeup wasn't looked at, you know, the that you know, females wearing makeup were not looked highly upon. But that changed though. That changed with the evolution of Hollywood and the movie star. Once the movie star started being out there and wearing makeup and you know, they were kind of like slowly the world started to change their perception of makeup because more people started wearing it. Max Factor, the legendary Max Factor, was um, an innovator. He was a scientist. He was, uh, had a passion for beauty. He had a vision um, and had a very, you know, it was a very nice guy too, really nice man, but um, he, he, he had a vision and his brain just worked in a way where he saw the future. That's a really good question, actually. I don't think of, I think, I think it's all evolution. When I look at the way things just happen to happen, it was all organic. So I think that's just the way life is. Um, and I think they, everything that they've done speaks for itself. So it doesn't really matter how it happened, but because it did happen with a family who's sincerely passionate about it, it's okay that it shifted from one to the other because they worked hand in hand with their dad from the time they were kids. That's all they knew. You know, the fact that my great-grandfather invented the word makeup. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool. When you put makeup on, you could, your face comes to life in a different way than when you don't have makeup on. And so you're able to kind of fulfill different, like, looks and fantasies and feels and vibes with the way you put your makeup on.